After the release of a new Netflix documentary, a Bay County commissioner is responding to allegations the film made about his business practices. The documentary, called Immigration Nation, asserts that Commissioner Tommy Ham has not paid immigrant workers hired by his contracting company, Winterfell Construction. As News 13's Erica Orstad tells us, Ham says the claims are unfounded. These, these workers are being exploited, no doubt. They're being exploited by Netflix for subscriptions. Commissioner Tommy Ham is responding after the Netflix documentary series contends that his company hired undocumented immigrants and never paid them for their work. It's just not true. It's just, it's, it's total fabrication, it's defamation, and, it's, and they're using it to profit from it. The series features a group called Resilience Force representing immigrant workers, many of which say Ham never paid them. Not just one worker has this complaint. A number of workers have these complaints. Socket Sony is the founder of Resilience Force. He says Ham should be held responsible, but Ham says he doesn't know any of those workers and that subcontractors are responsible for paying their own workers. We tried to help them find out who the proper sub was that hired them and help them get their money, but they, we, they were totally uncooperative. In a written exchange, Ham's lawyer asked the Resilience Force to provide a list of names and the amounts owed to each person. Ham says they've never received that list. Sony says it's it's not that easy. We're not going to provide him with a list of names so that he can go after them. Ham says his family has received death threats following the allegations and he plans to sue. Sonny says he hopes they can all meet to work it out, but that violent threats toward Ham need to stop. No one deserves that. In Panama City, Erica Orstad, News 13, Panhandle Strong.